Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Monday, October 30th, 2023, Monday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith and hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 17. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who, for eighteen years, had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound for eighteen years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection the woman in today's gospel was bent over, presumably forced by her infirmity to stare at the ground rather than to look around at people that were talking to her. From her position, she couldn't see the clouds in the sky. She couldn't see the birds that were nesting in the trees or even scan a crowd for familiar faces. She was missing out on some of life's simple pleasures. Standing there in the synagogue that day, she listened to Jesus' teaching, but she couldn't see his face until he called over to her. How often are we just like this woman? We're bent over, crippled by our sadness, our grief, or our illness, and we're unable to see any of the blessings in our life through our sorrow. All we can see is the sorrow. When we feel like this, we need to place ourselves in the proximity of Jesus, just like the bent-over woman did. Whether we see his face or we hear his voice, Jesus will make himself known to us with his healing graces. In the gospel, Jesus lays his hands on the woman to cure her. What must that have been like to have the Lord's hands on her head, sending his healing powers through her tortured body? The touch of Christ happens in our lives every time we receive a sacrament. He also touches us through other people or through what we might think are coincidental circumstances, but he arranges those in our life all the time. Think of a time for a moment when you have felt the touch of Christ. What was that like? Whether it was physical, emotional, or spiritual, the consequence of being touched by Christ is a heart overflowing with gratitude. Let's thank Jesus for all the times when he was there for us, even when we couldn't sense him. And so today, let's pray that when we feel lost, that we will abandon ourselves in these situations and put ourselves in the presence of Jesus. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary 
in a series of daily Catholic prayers.